Bad Ball Cricket guys. Thanks for checking in for another one of my cricketing review videos. Today, coming at you with, uh, with another bat review. And this one's on my brand new bat that I've just purchased this week. And it's a, uh, a Gun & More Flare Original. Now, this particular bat is one that uh, isn't being socked in Australia this year. I've actually been able to pick it up um, basically a bit cheaper because it's, uh, it's a stock or a discontinued line. Um, however, it's still a sensational quality bat. And um, look, as you can see from the majority of my, uh, my stuff on my channel, uh, they're not big brands. And I look more for, for the actual quality of cricket, uh, cricket bat rather than what's, uh, what's trendy or quality of cricket gear rather than what's, uh, what's trendy or, or popular at the, at the moment. Having said that, the, uh, the flare was a, was a bat that was um, very popular with, uh, with um, Shane Watson, um, one of the Australian cricket players. And uh, the, uh, the GM Mogul is a very similar bat to, um, to what the flare is. So if you're looking for something similar to the, to the flare this year, the GM Mogul is, um, is probably the one to go for, which I have, uh, which a mate of mine has, has got this year. And I have used, and it is a sensational, uh, is a sensational bat. All right, Gunner Moore uh, is probably the premier um, big brand bat maker out of uh, out of England, and they use their DXM machine, which is essentially a CAD design machine where the actual shaping of their bat isn't done by by hand by a master craftsman. It's actually done by a computer and computer aided design. They are then finished by a master craftsman in regards to um, to fitting the fitting the handle. Um, shaping the shoulders and, and blending and, and giving the, the, the quality uh, um, bottom hand um, um, feel on the, on the bats that, um, that you expect out of a, out of a, a grade one um, or out of a top grade uh, cricketing brand. As I said, made in England, um, so you do get the, uh, you, you do see the, the made in England stickers. There are, look I have seen um, gun and more bats without this made in England sticker that are Indian made. Um, bats, I'm not sure whether or not there is actually a deal between um, Gun and More and a, and a company in India to be making Gun and More bats for an Indian market. Um, but um, just just be aware that if you're looking for a genuine England made out of their factory in Nottingham um, or Nottinghamshire to uh, to make sure that it's got that made in England sticker. Otherwise, you're not buy, buying a, an England made uh, Gun and More. Let's just get some stuck into the actual bat itself. So, looking at the actual profile, this is a very full player's profile bat. And when you actually look at the bottom of it, there is zero concaving from, uh, from the actual edge to, uh, to the spine of the bat. There, there is none whatsoever. In fact, you could almost say it goes the other direction, um, and it does actually then, then, uh, then um, convex um, out from the, from the bat. Uh, so, a, a sensational um, full profile bat. When we actually look at the, at the face, this is one of GM's traditional faces, so they do have their, their, uh, their F ratings on their, on their faces, and this is, a, the, the flare is an F7, so it is the traditional, um, uh, it is a traditional face where the actual centre of the face is about a 7, seven mil higher than what the edges are. They now have a 4.5, as well as the flat face, which is the, which is the F2 bat, uh, the F2 face. This particular um, bat is a is a gun more original, so it is still grade one English, so it is grade one English Willow. They have the players, then they have the um, original limited edition, and then they have the original bat. So this is still grade one English Willow. However, with the um, with the original, you do get some minor blemishes in the in the face, and so there are a few small um, face spots there, and there is a very much a hint of heartwood um, in the in the bat as well. So in uh, in in cricket bat terms, where you we you have a willow tree that's growing. The timber towards the outside is a lighter timber, and that's what towards the um, the right hand is edge on this bat. And when you get closer towards the centre of the tree, it does have what's called a, a darker area in the middle, which is called the heartwood, and it is a little bit darker and a little bit um, a little bit stronger. Um, and so there's a very faint uh, piece of heartwood there. Having said that, the actual um, um, uh, grains on this one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven basically perfectly straight grains and um, and evenly spaced uh, across the board. So basically perfectly straight. I mean we've got a very slight wave down the bottom here which is something that you'd sort of expect with, um, with, with grade one. It is a natural product so you're never going to get dead straight grains um, and, um, and look these minor blemishes don't actually affect the performance of the bat at all. They're simply a, a, a cosmetic thing when you're looking at the, looking at the, at the bat. 
The actual weight, you know, this guy is just, uh, uh, just under 210 at the moment. So that's with, uh, with the grip and, uh, and stick it up. Um, he's just under 210. However, the thing to remember with Gun and Moore is that not only do they um, rate their bats on dead weight, they also rate their bats on, uh, on their pickup index. So this guy had a pickup index of, uh, of two, and that's out of five. So with one being a very light pickup, um, two being for, for players that want that agility to be guiding the ball, and five being very heavy, picks up basically like a railway sleeper for those guys that just want to want to blast out out attack. So this is a um, um, two, so it's a very so it's still a light pickup um, and, a, and a very good field. It's a it's a bat that um, is very very well very very well balanced and puts the timber in the place that you that you need it most. We actually go to the edge sizes. It is um, in comparison to um, to some of the other bats on the market as the, at the moment because it is a very full player's profile and it is the, the F face. It means that it doesn't have particularly big edges, which I'm not worried about whatsoever, and I'll explain that in a, in a minute. So when we actually look at the edge size here, and then they're talking about a 32 mil edge, and the actual spine's probably only about 47, 48 mils. So the actual size of the bat is it's not a particularly big bat whatsoever. However, when we actually look at the profile, it is all timber. So whether you're hitting um, right in the middle or you're slightly off center, you've still got a, a lot of um, a lot of timber behind um, your shot. So to to make sure it goes where where it needs to. When we actually look at the, the side profile of the bat, not very much in the, in the toe of the bat whatsoever, and that again suits um, suits my playing style and the fact that I've, I play um, here in Australia where we have pretty good bounce on, on most of our pitches. Um, so there doesn't need to be a lock in the toe, and the predominant amount of the, of the bat is actually here towards a, a mid or a high middle bat, which, um, which suits me perfectly. The, um, uh, and look, that doesn't actually affect the, the middle placement of the bat. Um, a, a good bat's a good bat, with a, with a, which should have a middle from just above the toe to just follow the, the stickers on the face. But the actual middle position uh, affects how it picks up for you, and this is, a, this is a bat that picks up sensationally well. The last thing to, um, to actually have a look at is then the actual handle. Now this particular bat did actually come with a, with a different, uh, different grip that the, that the GM bats were coming with last year. Um, however, I've taken that off because I like to have um, consistency between my bats. And you can see behind me here that um, with the exception of the Affinity, which I'm not, I'm not using anymore, the other, um, the other two main bats that I use are either the, uh, the uh, Diamond um, grip or a, or a Chevron grip. And um, it just means I, I like a very, a very flat um, uh, grip. Um, because it means that I can adjust where my hand is actually on the handle depending on my condition or the, the conditions that I'm facing and I don't have to worry about there being something in the, on the grip that I'm not used to. Guys, uh, one um, um, final thing to, um, to close out with, uh, with the GM bats. This one comes um, with, a, with a jury guard um, treatment on the bottom. And as you can see with this particular guy, there is no treatment, uh, sorry, there is no um, toe guard um, and no finishing on the bottom. Now, the, um, the, the jury guard um, finish on the bottom of the bat is essentially a chemical treatment that prevents water and moisture from actually seeping into the toe of the bat. What um, GM do with their bats is they have a large number of options that you can actually choose from. And this guy is um, um, one that uh, is, a, is a natural finish bat with no preparation involved in it as well. So you will see some of the GM bats this season that do have another sticker that under, underneath it say GM prepared. Um, GM now ready to play. Now G GM is one of the only companies where you can actually rely on that to a certain extent because when that, when that GM say ready at, um, uh, or GM now ready to play, what they've done is they've oiled the bat, they've knocked the bat in, then they've applied the, the scuff sheet um, or, the, or the extra tech and it's good to go. This one hasn't had that finish on it because the, the, the suppliers can order them with or without that, that ready play now option. Um, and so this one I am in the process of, of knocking in over the next um, couple of weeks um, to get ready for the Australian, the Australian summer. So if you do get other brands outside the GM that say they're ready to play, I'd ignore that completely. Uh, I'd also recommend that instead of actually getting a bat that is fitted with a scuff sheet, you want to get an original um, or, or a natural face bat that you can oil and knock in yourself and then apply your actual protective um, um, film because otherwise the, all the bats to, these days now to get them to the size that they are, they're dried a lot more than what they used to be and so you might only get a season to two seasons out of a, a pre-prepared bat. So, um, so make sure you, um, you know, when you're looking at getting a bat, 
Um, either make sure it's a, it's a quality finish out of a, out of a quality company that you trust. Some companies um, like um, the Affinity and like, um, like uh, Aldred do a knocking in service where they'll do that for you. So you want to go down that path or a company that has a reputable knocking in service like, um, like GM, um, the other companies that, that where their bats are predominantly uh, made and, and finished in India. Those guys are, are, are mass produced and so you want to finish those off yourself. Well, guys, the last thing for this particular bat is then actually our uh, our ping. Sorry, but, but guys, one of the final things, or the second last thing for this particular bat that we want to get into is the actual quality of the stickers. Now, this is last year's stickers, so it does have the uh, the the uh, sort of the, the portrait writing of uh, of GM. Some of the other ones, uh, or the new bats, have a have a big GM running along the lengthways of the bat. Look, I'm really impressed in, uh, with the quality of these stickers, considering that they are mass produced. Um, for um, for a lot of bats, so there do you do have some embossing and some raising of the um, of the actual flare on that side, and the actual GM as is actually a raised uh, and embossed um, version on the or, or, or sticker there as well. They are uh, high quality stickers um, that I'm really impressed with. Like I said, because they are they are mass produced. Guys, the the final thing to go to um to note with this bat now is uh, is the pin test. So let's get into this guy, and I've been starting fairly low on the toe, so we're expecting it to sound pretty dead on the lower, on the lower part of the uh, of the bat, and then sort of improve through the through the middle before going dead again around the around the stickers. So let's uh, get into that. So you hear there, guys, um, sounding fairly dead towards the bottom of the bat, as you'd expect, because you don't ex you drive many shots for four out of the out of the, the bottom of the bat there. Then it starts and sounds really good through the, starting through the middle, um, up until about this um, this area, a couple or about an inch below the um, the stickers where it starts to, to sound dead again. And that, of course, is your main drive, your main hitting area, whether it be through um, through your drives or um, or cutting and pulling. That's where you're going to score. Um, you know, the majority of your runs is through that middle part of the of the bat. So, guys, that's my review of the uh, the Gun and More Flare Original Edition. Um, I'm uh, really liking this bat so far as I'm knocking it in. It's um, it's not quite to the same um, to the same level of preparation as what the Aldred is, um, and so I'm I'm kind of um, tossing up between whether or not um, the the GM or the Aldred is going to end up as my my game bat um, for this uh, for this uh, summer season coming. I'm hoping that the GM opens up nicely and is ready to go because I, I really like the pickup and think this is an absolute cracker and sensational bat. Um, but that'll be um, um, a final decision that'll be made uh, um, you know, towards the the, um, the, the first um, game um, as to whether or not the, uh, the GM's ready for, for that or if it needs a little bit more breaking in. All right, guys, as always, uh, if you've got any questions or any comments, make sure you drop those down in the comments bar and uh, I'll uh, endeavour to get back to those as, uh, as quickly as I can. Guys, also make sure you check out a number of my other videos. I'm up to sort of about 15 to 20 videos now, so um, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of cricketing review or, or cricket-related videos there for you to check out. Guys, uh, thanks, for, thanks for checking in, and I hope to uh, see you again in the future soon. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.